it's Maddie here from Trini London and I am a makeup artist. So today I'm going to be doing my everyday kind of soft smoky eye look which is going to be ready for a banging selfie later. So my match to me would be blue eyes. I'd say cool blonde hair because it is really really bleached uh, and it also the cool blonde is what's framing my face although I am naturally brunette and um, I would say my skin is a porcelain. Unfortunately I am very pale at the moment. Hopefully summer will give me that bit of tan. So I'm going to start off with my BFF in light. This tube is very used. Use about three pumps because that is where you want to get your SPF 30 in. And I'm just going to pop this on the face. So before my BFF I normally have a bit of moisturiser, a little bit of primer because I do have oily skin. So I want my pores to be primed and prepped. And I just take this BFF kind of all over like you would your moisturiser anyway. So I do tend to take a little bit of BFF down on my neck if I'm wearing like a top that shows the neck. And it starts to feel a little bit tacky after a while, which is good. It means it's doing its magic. And it gives a quite a light coverage, obviously. It's not too heavy coverage, but the whole point of that is that you've kind of got your nice base, a little bit of colour, a little bit of glow. And then next we're gonna go in with our BFF eye for the under eye areas and then our just a touch just over the blemishes, I've got a little bit of hormonal breakout here. Um, a tiny bit of redness on the chin and then kind of leftover scarring from previous breakout. I do have quite purpley dark under eyes, so my under eye is going to be in the shade Izzy and my Just A Touch is in the shade Bambi. So this is Izzy, used, <laughs> and this is Bambi. So I'm just gonna take the BFFI under eye and just pop it under the eye here. So I'm quite generous with the BFFI but I do it in layers. As you can see it's already made quite a lot of difference. So now I'm going to take my Just A Touch in Bambi and I am going to take a small Real Techniques brush for this one because I find sometimes with this product it's a little bit easier to get a blended more airbrushed finish when you stipple it on with a brush so I'm literally just going to take a bit of the product like this and then just tap it over that spot so as you can see it's immediately taken away that redness here I don't need and as a lot of people you don't need a full face of one solid colour as a foundation so you just feel like you need that little bit of coverage just in areas and it makes a whole lot of difference. I feel a lot more airbrushed and selfie ready with this skin now. So I am feeling a slightly little bit pale at the moment. So next I'm gonna bring in my Golden Glow in Genster, which is the paler of the two. And I'm just gonna use the same brush that I was just using for my um, concealer foundation. And I'm just gonna dab it in, I'm just in like circular motions, pop that on the higher points of my face where the sun would naturally hit just to get that little bit of tan. So I'm feeling a little bit more bronze now. So next I'm gonna do a bit of blusher and this is a flush blush in the shade Katrin. So I'm just gonna take a tiny little bit on my ring finger, just like this. And I'm just gonna pop it kind of on the height of my cheekbone there. And then with my middle finger, just blend it upwards. So that is my little bit of blush. Right, now for the fun part, the soft, smoky, selfie ready eye. So I'm going to start off with Justice, which I feel like this product needs a little bit of love because honestly, it's so great. So it's kind of like a pearlescent matte eyeshadow and I'm just gonna rub it all over my ring finger. I do tend to use my ring finger a lot for the application and then my middle finger or my thumb to kind of blend. So I'm gonna start off with this product on my finger and I'm literally gonna tap it in the middle of my eye and then use my middle finger just to tap over it and blend. Now, when I look at the camera, my eyes, you can't really see a lot of my eyelid because I have very low eyebrow bones here are my eyebrow bones, but the space between my eye and my eyebrow, there is a lot of it. So what I tend to do is I take my product quite high up kind of into my eyebrow 
just to blend it through and that kind of creates the illusion that my eye is a little bit bigger so that is justice all over the eye and it's very nice kind of neutral base and I think with this if you kind of just wanted an everyday easy look a little bit of lip, bit of mascara and then you're done so next I'm going to pop some Empress over the top which is kind of like a chocolatey brown with a little bit of gold shimmer in so I'm going to take a Real Techniques kind of fluffy brush like this one and I'm just going to swirl the brush in the product and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap that on the eye I'm conscious that I'm not going too close into my eye but just keeping it along into that socket as well so I'm just going to do the same on the other eye so as you can see I feel like the Empress is looking a lot cooler and I do believe that is because I have put Justice on first and Justice really can change a look so as you can see I'm really blending that up kind of in over the top of my eyebrow bone and following the shape of my eyebrow because I want to create that illusion that my eyes are a little bit bigger so next I'm going to take Emperor which is very deep and a matte colour it doesn't have any shimmer or anything like that in it and I'm going to take a brush that's kind of like a bullet shape very pointy but it's still got movement and it's still fluffy and I'm just going to swirl the end of that brush in the pot so it's coated just like that just like the tip and then I'm going to take this product and I'm really going to get it close to the lash line and don't worry if it looks a bit dramatic because you're going to blend it afterwards get a fluffy brush and just blend it away it's like magic so again just kind of draw that line as close to the lash line as you can get and if you don't have a brush like this you could use a cotton bud uh, just swirl it round in the pot and kind of stamp it on as a line and then use your finger to either just tap over the top and blend it or a fluffy brush if you have one so as you can see i'm looking very smoky and very heavy on the top of my lids so just with the kind of leftovers of what i've got on the brush that i just used i'm just going to bring that product underneath the eye Perfect, so I feel quite happy with this smoky look. So next, I'm just gonna quickly do my eyebrows and also my mascara, and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I'm back with my big eyebrows, great big bushy eyebrows, and also a bit of mascara. I do like a lot of mascara, I must say. So lastly, I'm gonna finish off with my lips, and I'm gonna pop a little bit of our new product, Fresh Flush in Katia, on my lips, with also, it has to be done, a little bit of lip glow in Maddie, which obviously is my name, you know, gotta do it. I'm gonna pop this over my lip, over the top, with a little bit of Maddie and lip glow. And then let's whip this out, do the old zhuzh, and that is me done. Thank you so much for watching. I am now ready to take my perfect selfie. Bye guys.